Hey there, this is Matteo from Spartan Milano and today we're in Isola, more precisely in Via Basti, in order to show you a beautiful apartment with kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom and one balcony, which is located on the first floor, it's accessible but through the stairs and through the elevator. So let's just go ahead and let me show you around. So as we walk in, we find ourselves in the living room, while proceeding through the corridor on our right we have the bathroom and the bedroom. And now just turning back, on the corner of the living room we find the kitchen side and through this French door, nice and luminous, we access the terrace for private use of this apartment which is super large and luminous. On this corner we have a little closet for storage purpose with the cleaning products, a few shelvings and so on. You will also find a rack for drying your clothes as you can see. And we've got these nice openings directly on the street side via Ugo Bassi. We're super close to the Isola neighborhood, well actually within it, which is a very happening spot in Milan with plenty of places to hang out and restaurants. The nearest underground stop is indeed Isola of line number five, but we're also walking distance from uh, Milano Garibaldi with the train station and the underground stop of line number two. So we now just go back inside the apartment in order to show you the main space which is made up with the kitchen and living room. First thing to mention is that this comfortable little couch can become a single bed if you need extra space. We've got this long classy table with uh, six seats Perfect for having your meals with some friends. The kitchen is lit through this tall window, which is directly overlooking the balcony that we just saw. And the kitchen itself is fully equipped with the oven. We've got a cupboard on the top with all the plates, as well as a chest of drawers underneath with all the cutlery. Just here on the side, we find the fridge. And we've got the freezer underneath, nice and spacious, very modern. As for the rest, we've got a gas stove, nice and large, and some big drawers underneath where you can store all the utensils for cooking, including the pots, which are provided with the apartment. There's more room down here. On this other side, we find a large squared sink a microwave. Well down here you'll also find the dishwasher. We got a boiler and more cupboards here on the top including a rack for drying your plates. More storage compartments for the cups and glasses. And there's even a few shelvings up here. We also have a coffee machine as you can see. we got an air conditioning unit on top of the entrance door and a few shelvings here to empty your pockets as soon as you walk in. This nice and comfortable couch can actually become an additional double bed just by pulling it out. And it is directly overlooking this flat screen TV which you can comfortably watch from here enjoying the living room space which also comes with a few shelvings here on the side. Now, heading back towards the bedroom, first of all we want to show you the bathroom coming with a few shelvings and the washing machine down here. We've got a sink and a large mirror on the top. Box shower with sliding doors and both of the toilets, uh, bathroom and bidet. Here in the corridor connecting the bedroom to the living room we also find a built-in wardrobe which is actually the only one at the apartment, comes with a few racks, very nice and deep. There's even more space in here, with some additional shelvings with all the towels provided with the apartment, as you can see. And here is finally our bedroom, it's actually very lovely, a double one indeed with a tall double bed and it's two bedside tables. 
You have this pretty stylish lamp here on the ceiling, which I really like. Two tall luminous French windows, which are almost like doors, they're very tall. And they are again overlooking the interior courtyard. This is just the opposite side of the street. You find a full LED mirror here, as well as a chest of drawers. Fairly spacious inside. Behind the door we got some more shelvings, as well as the ironing board, just hidden behind here. Another air conditioning unit on the top. So it's overall a very lovely apartment. You can host up to four people, let's say, for a short term, but it's more indicated for a couple. Or two people indeed. It's a very convenient location in the Isola neighborhood. It's a very happening one. We got plenty of public transport nearby, including trams and buses connecting to the rest of the city. And we're generally super close to Porta Garibaldi, which is a nevralgic interchange on the Milanese network. So with this we show you everything, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao ciao!